Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, let us in a very special way thank and bless the Lord for the wonderful deeds he has done to us. Like the David, the shepherd and the victorious, let us sing together and praise the Lord. Let us thank and praise the Lord together with the choir. Let us clap the hands and thank the Lord. If the Spirit of the Lord is in my soul, like David the shepherd I will sing. If the Spirit of the Lord is in my soul, like David the shepherd I will sing. I will sing, I will sing, like David the shepherd I will sing. I will sing, I will sing, I will sing like David the shepherd I will sing. Oh Lord! We sing together. If the spirit of the Lord is in us, we dance like David today. We sing together. If the spirit of the Lord is in my soul, like David, the victor, I will dance. Amen. If the spirit of the Lord is in my soul, like David, the victor, I will dance. I will dance. I will dance. Like David, the victor, I will dance. I will dance. I will dance. Like David, the victor, I will dance. Oh Lord, we in your spirit. We send forth your Holy Spirit so that we can pray like David. Though he has sinned, he prayed to the Lord and God forgave him. Oh Lord, we ask for your forgiveness. We ask the Holy Spirit to sing and pray to you. If the Spirit of the Lord is in my soul, like David the sinner, I will pray. If the Spirit of the Lord is in my soul, like David the sinner, I will pray. I will pray, I will pray, like David the sinner, I will pray. I will pray, I will pray, like David the sinner, I will pray. I will pray, I will pray. Like David the sinner, I will pray, I will pray, I will pray. Like David the sinner, I will pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Sing and dance before you. And pray like David. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In our weaknesses, we do not know how to pray, but the Holy Spirit will help you to pray. O oh Lord, today as we are here gathered together in your name, let the Holy Spirit touch each and every one of us so that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit. We are weak. O oh Lord, we do not know how to pray. During this hour, please be with us. We invoke your grace through the Holy Spirit. A Holy Spirit, guide, our, guide us and protect us. Come to our aid. Let's invoke the Holy Spirit. Welcome Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. A Holy Spirit. Fill us with your power, live inside of me. Please repeat up for the choir. Welcome Holy Spirit, we are in your presence. Fill us with your power. Living water, you're the living waters, never dry fountain. You're the comforter and counselor, take complete control. Welcome, Holy 
Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. The Spirit is moving. The Spirit is touching. Let's see the presence of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit in and around me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, we are going to meditate upon a particular point which many of the people are confused of. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, many people say that God is so merciful, God is so loving, so He never considers our sins. We know in the Old Testament, we see God as a cruel punisher who gives exactly the punishment at the due time. In the Old Testament, we see so many times God has become a, a terrible, terrible punisher of the sins. And that is what we see in the pages of the Old Testament. But when we come into the New Testament, we know we have seen the power, the love of Jesus and that is manifested the love of the Father is manifested through Jesus and our the fa Abba Father is a merciful Father therefore we see the mercy and love of Jesus therefore many people do think that God doesn't bother about our sins because he is a merciful God, whatever we do he will forgive and he will never ever remember our sins. Therefore, if you do some mistakes or if you do some sins, it's okay because God knows our weakness. This is the attitude of many people today. But dear friends, one thing is to be noted is that even in the New Testament, we see God is telling you that whatever you do, you may have to face its consequences. It is true that when we do something wrong, God may not directly give you the punishment. But the sin that you do will give you its punishment to you. In the book of Zerah, chapter 5, verse 3 onwards, reads like this. Book of Zerah, chapter 5, verse 3 onwards. Do not say, who can have power over me? For the Lord will surely punish you. Do not say, I have sinned, yet what has happened to me? For the Lord is slow to anger. Do not be so confident of forgiveness that you add sin to sin. Do not say, His mercy is great. He will forgive the multitude of my sins. For both mercy and wrath are with Him, and His anger will rest on sinners. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, this is the attitude of the, this generation. Today, many people say, even if you do any, commit any mistake, any sin, it's okay, fine. God is so merciful and loving, He will forget and forgive everything. Dear friends, as I told you in the beginning, God may not give you the punishment of your sin, but in the book of Sirah, chapter 19, verse 4 says, the sin will give you the punishment for yourself. That we see in the book of Sirah, chapter 19, verse 4. The one who sins does wrong to oneself. Hallelujah. 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 So this is not something an outside force that is giving you the punishment. You know, acid. Acid is a, a, a thing, if it touches, we get burned. And in the acid itself, the burning effect is there. So, nobody is from outside is giving you the effect. In the very same way, if you commit a sin, the word of God says, a person, when he commits sin, he does harm to himself. Hallelujah. 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 The book of Abadiah, 
book of Obadiah chapter 1 verse 15. There we see the word of God says, As you work or as you do, you will have to receive the punishment. Let us listen. For the day of the Lord is near against all the nations. As you have done, it shall be done to you. Praise the Lord. Deeds shall return on your own head. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you have done, you may have to receive. Today you are doing so many things, so many sins. Okay, nobody is bothering me. Yes, I am fine. Okay, don't never say that. Because the word of God says, at the right time, it will come and fall on you. At a very unexpected time, you may have to face the consequences. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear friends, the very same thing is, in another words, repeated in the book of Sirah, chapter 27, verse 27. If a person does evil, it will roll back upon him, and he will not know where it came from. See, the word of God says, if a person does sin, it will roll back to yourself. And you may not know at any time from where it comes. And that is the effect of sin. Hallelujah. 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 Again in the book of Proverbs, chapter 26, verse 27, repeatedly says, Whatever you do, it will fall, fall on, on to yourself. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it, and a stone will come back on the one who starts it rolling. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A person starts rolling a stone, and sometimes it can come back to himself. In the very same way, if a person commits sin, the sin can give you some punishments in your life, and there are after effects for the sins. We should remember that. Even Jesus told in the book, Gospel of St. John, chapter 5, verse 29 and 30, God says, at the time of the judgment, there will be the resurrection of all the people on earth. All those who have died will be raised like up again, and there will be a, a, a punishment given. Let's read, read 5, 29 and 30 of St. John. For the hour is coming when all who are in the graves will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good to the one resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. Hallelujah. 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 Again, we see so many times Jesus is asking us in the New Testament, unless and until you repent, you may have to bear the consequences. We see in the book of uh, Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 13, he repeatedly says the very same thing. So, there we should understand the right perspective what is the consequence of sin? The consequence of sin or the after effect of sin is not that something God puts on you, but it is the same effect which you get as a reward for the sin you have committed. Hallelujah. 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 Dear friends, for example, we take the case of HIV positive virus. We know this virus has come from a monkey. Actually, the virus was you know, on monkeys long back. And the virus was there. It doesn't cause any harm to the people. And when people went wrong and they uh, did sin with all these animals, what happened? The virus crept into the uh, human body. And now it has spread all over the world. And can we say that the punishment is given by God? No. It is the punishment that the sin has given or the reward that sin has given to his uh, serv servant man. Hallelujah. 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 Therefore, my dear friends, one thing is sure, if you do good things, God will reward you. And if you do evil things, the reward will come upon you. May not be at the time when you expect, but the very least expected time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we look into the Bible, what are the consequences of uh, sin in the Bible's teaches? The first and foremost, the consequence of sins is that the sin blocks the blessings from above. Hallelujah. 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 Because the word of God again says in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 9, verse 31. Gospel of St. John, chapter 9, verse 31. Word of God clearly says, God does not hear, answer the prayers of the sinner. We know that God does not listen to sinners. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, God does not answer to the sinners. 
and because of the reason you may find blocks in the heavenly blessings in your day to day life sometimes there may be uh, problems in your job there may be difficulties in your families sometimes you may have certain sickness on your body it can happen please understand the right way it is not i am not going i am saying that every sickness is caused by sin no it can have an effect in your body hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. so the material way there may be blocks in your day to day activities i remember a man who came to me and he was uh, such a dep- uh, depressed way, manner because he had a problem with his uh, some allergic uh, he was allergic to towards certain things sickness was on his body which no doctors could cure and the, when uh, once in a while it happens and it comes to his skin is just um, uh, torn and the blood is oozing uh, he cannot get any medicine for that he went to many of the uh, doctors famous doctors but they said we don't know whatever medicine you apply it is of no use finally this man came to the retreat center for a retreat and when he came the whole body was uh, uh, wounded and it was ble- bleeding and he was finding very difficult to sit uh, for the retreat but dear friends i remember the second day he came called me and told me father i want to go away because i can't sit because my whole body is aching and bleeding so what shall i do i told him just wait for one more day you make a good confession and god will going god is going to heal you and dear friends you know what happened the, th- the third day on the day of confession god put the holy spirit on him he was a person who was not at all devotive he was not at all going to the church he used to do a lot of things and these sins he had never confessed and the very moment he made his confession a, a great anointing came on him and the next evening during the adoration and the praise and worship time the lord touched him and he was completely cured and this man gave the witness and testimony that my sins was the reason or the cause of my sickness hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. i have seen many people who are jobless when they come and ask father pray we are jobless i ask them please go and make a good confession make a good confession and say to the lord lord touch me and remove my stains on the on, the, on in my on my uh, soul and god is going to bless you and i i tell you i have seen many people really and uh, getting good jobs when they have made a very good real confession so in our day to day activities our blessings from god is blocked through sin that's the first uh, after effect of sin in the second after effect of sin is that when a person commits sin the person becomes a slave to this sin that's a very dangerous situation the gospel of saint john chapter 8 verse 34 word of god says one who commits sin is a slave to sin 834 jesus answered them very truly i tell you every one who commits sin is a slave to sin hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. what does it mean a slave doesn't have freedom therefore once you become an addict to a sin you will never be able to get out of this sin unless and until the word the, the lord touches you there are so many people who come and tell me father i just cannot leave my alcoholism or father i cannot just leave my bad habits i tell them you cannot do by yourself you have become an addict to that this is what saint paul says in the letter to romans chapter 7 verse 15 onwards he says i i don't know what i am doing because i do the things which i don't want to do i don't know why i am like this i know what is to do and what is not to do but often what i do is what i don't want to do and that is my great situation uh, romans chapter 7 verse 19 he says in this way for i do not do the good i want but the evil i do not want is what i do hallelujah hallelujah so the after effect of uh, sin is that we become a slave to sin and the third and the final and the the greatest degree of the after effect of uh, sin is that the holy spirit is 
just removed from our heart. Our soul is dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see in the book of first book of Genesis, in the first, in the first book in the Bible, the book of Genesis we see chapter 2 verse 16 and 17. God told Adam and Eve, do not touch the tree that, or the fruit of the tree that is in the middle of the garden. But they ate and God said, if you eat, you will die. And there was no physical death we know. Adam and Eve lived longer. But the problem was the spirit, the soul was no more. And that is the greatest tragedy today many people are facing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear friends, if we commit sin, our soul is dead. And a person living without soul or the Holy Spirit is a dead person. That's what we see in the book of Revelation chapter 3 verse 1. The book of Revelation chapter 3 verse 1, the second part says, You say you are alive, but I know your deeds. You, though you are alive, you are dead. Read please. I know your works. You have a name of being alive, but you are dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's stand up. The Gospel of St. Matthew chapter 16 verse 26. Even if you gain the whole world, if you lose your soul, what benefit to you? Let us close our eyes. Lord, we know every single sin that we commit has got its own art effect on me. Though God doesn't punish, He is loving and caring. The sins can give certain effects on me. Therefore, what you have to do, dear friends? Nothing. Our God has sent Jesus to us as the Savior, as the Redeemer. Just accept Him as the Savior in your heart and confess your sin and you will be saved. Let us praise and thank the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in today, oh, Holy Spirit. Come in to stay, Help me, Holy Spirit. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Tantum ergo sacramento Venerima ceruni Et anticum documento No vocero tui Preste fide supplemento Sans un defectui Genitori, genitoque Laos jubilatio Salus on a virtus coque, sit in benedictio. Post in tia butroque, compass it la dancio. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, We are in the presence of Jesus. The world say, the world says, God will never punish you. It is true, God is not punish, going to punish you. But the sin itself is very powerful to punish you. Whatever you do, whether good or evil, you may have to suffer the after effect of it. And every single sin that we do in this world will be counted at the time of last judgment. And Satan 
is going to remove this concept from your heart. The divine promptings will be removed by the words of the powers of darkness. Today let us open our hearts to the Lord. Lord, give us a true knowledge about every act that we do. The word of God says, the sin itself will give the punishment to you. Lord, today, when we are here before you, we accept and admit that we are weak. We have got our own shortcomings, our own limitations. But if we, if we accept Jesus as the Savior in our heart, and if we are ready to confess our sins with a sincere contrite heart, you will wash away our iniquities. We do believe that. Jesus, you have been, you are, you are crucified just for the sake of our sins. And through the precious blood, we all will have remission of sins. Just accept Jesus as your master and savior. Just accept him as the Lord of your life. And be sure whenever you do anything, just remember that you will have to face the consequences. Let us open our hands, close your eyes and call out the name Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. The name of Jesus, Jesus is very powerful. Jesus. As you call out the name of Jesus, Jesus. let the power come Jesus. to you and let Jesus touch Jesus. each and every one of us who, came, who thinks that even Jesus. if I do anything, God will Jesus. not punish me. Oh Lord, Jesus. today give them the courage and strength Jesus. to call out the name. Let's call Jesus. louder. Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Let the hard hearted people may be transformed Jesus. into a soft hearted people. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Glory. 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 Jesus. Jesus. As we are going to receive the benediction and the blessings, let us raise our hands if possible. Look into Jesus. And if you look up to Jesus, He's going to bless you. He's going to heal you. Let us praise and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. 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 Jesus, Jesus, Hallelujah, 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 Jesus, 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 Lord Jesus, Jesus. Let's say the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.